Kira needs to speak with you. He says it's urgent. Who? The president of the network. You tell that pipsqueak prick if he wants to talk, he can come to me. Hey, Mort. I'll keep it short. Like you? <laughs> Touche. Anyway, the buyout by Yasuda was finalized. Konnichiwa! <laughs> um, so there's gonna be some changes. Like what? Well, this shakeup is giving you an exciting new opportunity. You'll get to meet our up-and-comers. Am I getting a new secretary? Better. You're mentoring the diversity program. Keep Lola? My name's Amanda. Hey, 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 do not contradict me in front of the help. Um, we're becoming multinational, so we need to nurture our diverse viewpoints. These kids will benefit from your decades, I, your vast experiences. We've had diversity for years. Green Acres, Mr. Red, Lassie. Those shows weren't diverse. Yeah, those were diverse stars. Arnold Ziffel was a fucking pig. Mr. Red was a horse, Lassie was a bitch! Uh, I'm talking about diversity and race. All those shows were white. Nah, let ABC be the all-black channel. I'm not gonna let a cunt like Shonda Rhimes ruin this network. I can still hear you. Morty, it's this or nothing. Now that I've been working <laughs> on to build my world is gone. Whoa! And all the hope I had for the one day I would win is... I swear to you, Esther, I'm this close to creating it. A whole new hit show, one that's almost as good as the one we used to make. Here's the It's all gone. Welcome to UBS. My name is Matina Campbell. I'm the new employee liaison. Here at UBS, we work hard to create a culture of inclusion, understanding, and patience. In fact, it was our first president, Howard Goldfarb. He was not only a renowned admirer of women, but he was also a champion of their advancement in the company. All of his wives began in the mailroom, and then they quickly advanced to become the presidential personal secretary prior to retiring into marriage and subsequently transitioning into a comfortable, comfortable divorce from the very beginning. The Fujimoto family has done all of the gardening right here on UBS premises. And it is thus honored and revered as part of the UBS clan. Our kitchen and cleaning staff are 100% minority and 110% Mexican. We also have a proud history of employing both gays and lesbians in our makeup and costuming departments. Our accounting department is full of Rosensteins and Bergs. And upon bringing me aboard six days ago, the company has hired its first African-American, though I did have to pass a brown paper bag test. We encourage you to embark upon your journey here at UBS with confidence and uh, hopefully you won't be going through the front door and out the back. Good luck! So, should we all introduce ourselves? Okay, well, I'm Courtney White. I write about systemic racism. And I'd be happy with whoever our program leader is, but personally, I hope it's Shonda Rhimes, because I bet she could rewrite Two Broke Girls into Two Broke Hoes. Cast Lupita Nuango and Kyla Pratt and still have it good enough for Amazon Prime. Yeah, all right. Yo, my name is Don Veer. Don Veer Ramachandran. But y'all can call me Dwight. All right? And you, baby? You could call me anytime. Especially after 2 a.m. Yo, I ride about the streets, all right? I'm working on a sequel for The Wire, set on the south side of Shy town Maybe in your version, they should enunciate. Speak the Queen's English. Shut up, fool. I'm talking, all right? Okay, I'm done. All right. I'm Langston Johnston. I write about the Harlem Renaissance and the Negro's freedom of creative expression, whether personal or collective. 
And no, you cannot touch my hair. This ain't no damn petting zoo. Okay. Hi, I'm Jessica Greenberg. I write upper middle class existential suburban malaise and comedic stoner chick chic and racist farce. And you know, if you want to throw out any other suggestions of what's hot right now, I'll, I'll take them because I just really need to sell something. So, <laughs> you know, Mira, it's kind calmate, of... Mira, calmate, oh, okay. Yeah, fuera, fuera. Bye. Okay. Yo soy Jesus Martinez. My passion project is amigos. It's like friends, but set in an apartment above a taqueria in Guadalajara. Okay, we get it. You're, you're bilingual, bicultural, just generally yeah. bi. Yeah. Hi. Hi, I'm Melanie Lee, and I'm a lot gayer than I look. And, uh, <laughs> oh my god, that's possible. Yeah, thanks, Queer Eye, for the Nation of Islam guy. Uh, anyway, I am currently working on an Asian Golden Girl set in a lesbian opium den. I'm writing a drama about international beauty contests. It's Models Inc. meets Desperate Housewives. On a pageant stage, of course. Wow, that's really brave of you. Right on, sister. So empowered. Wait, so we're all in the program now, right? Yeah, dude. We're solid. Whoa! What? No way! Yeah. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Farah Najim, and uh, I wear a burqa when it serves me. Wow! <laughs> Morty, the meeting! Well, I guess now we just wait for the program leader. I hope it's Roberto Rodriguez. Robert Rodriguez. You know, he did From Dust Till Dawn, the series. <laughs> Ain't nobody watched it. You know, I consider myself more of a writer-director than just a writer. You know, I look for any way to get on the set. Yeah, 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 man. I hope it's Lena Dunham. <laughs> you would. I do. Hey, yo. What about uh, Samuel L. Jackson, huh? I mean, I didn't love the Lord of the Rings, but it won a lot of Oscars and shit. D different Jackson, you idiot. In my dreams, Spike Lee. Oh, yeah, Spike. hey, yo, little Asian girl. You got an uncle in the business, huh? Differently, you idiot. All right, man. Color man here can't get no respect. Am I right, bro? Make it stop. Beautiful doll. Uh, someone's gonna be late. They had car trouble. Probably get here about 3.15. Hmm, these minority types. They're always late. What time is it now? Uh, 3.15. Mm -hmm. Come on, Morty. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on, Morty. Mm -hmm. Come on, just give me a little space. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever Lola wants, Lola gets. No, oh, good. Spray was late. Is that Mike White? It's good to see Jack Black. No, 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 no. That old Jewish guy. Jet Apatow. What? <laughs> I am uh, Chad Sharona, the third. Tell us what you write, Holmes. I write Freddy Bro drama, faith based fidelity horror, <laughs> and pedophilia comedy. Well, admittedly, that last one is a niche market, okay? But they're not actually doing the better nasty. <laughs> they are resisting those urges in a humorous, but ultimately aspirational manner. Mm. So I also dabble in interracial jailhouse erotica. Are you like 1 16th indigenous? More than that. I'm poor as fuck, bro. Indigenous, not indigent. Thank you. Like Native American? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah. 100% American. Born and raised. <laughs> USA! USA! 
So you're white. I don't know, man, because I do not see color. And I don't suck dick. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> She's white. I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish. And she has a vagina. Mm, maybe. <laughs> Don B's right. Don't assume. Wait, so you must identify female. Yeah, I identified uh, that female when I walked in. What's your name? Taken, dude. I love that gray dress. <laughs> it's purple. Like I said. Oh my god. He's literally colorblind. Oh. <laughs> it's my weakness. And my gift. It's on what's coming. I hope it's Steve McQueen. Oh yeah. Cincinnati kid. Bullet. Twelve years a slave. Excuse me, you guys need to get out of here. Orientation is over. This room is actually where Chuck Lorre imprisons all his writing staffs. You guys are down the hall. Follow me. Mm. <laughs> what is happening? I got a hit for all day. I smile like an 